I started out in, you know, Northern California and, and, you know, I worked on the deck of a boat, got into that part of it, you know, the commercial fishing industry, I was involved with that. Got into the water and started diving, you know, I needed a job. <laughs> We have, uh, there's a lot of different species here. Southeast, you have inside waters and you have outside waters. So you have a lot of a very diverse habitat. They remove this meat. It looks like a filet when it's done. I do sea urchins, sea cucumbers, and gooey duck clams. I really enjoy what I do. You make a living doing it, but it's all—it is—it's a lifestyle. I mean, you spend a lot of days on the boat. You're gone from home a lot, and, and you know a lot of people don't want to do that. You know, a lot of people are nine to five. I'm definitely not a nine to five person. At the end of the day, it's a job. It's—you you spend, you know, six, seven, eight hours on the bottom of the ocean floor, and then you have to run the boat 40, 50 miles back to town. I mean, it's—it's it's quite a commitment. You don't just get to stop, and that's it. You know, we do. You know, some of our trips are, you know, 36 hours, you know, you're just gone. You don't get to, okay, that's it, I quit, I'm going home now. It doesn't work like that, you know. For me, as a harvester, you know, doing all this stuff here to actually get to go in and, and see who the consumer is, you know. You're in there on a Saturday night in San Francisco at a nice sushi bar and talking with the people that are eating your products is I've always wondered, where does this product go? Who consumes this product? And to see somebody sitting there and actually enjoying something that, you know, I've made a living doing is, is cool, man. It's really cool.